Electric bikes are giving the two-wheeled market a jolt. Lockdowns have boosted demand for cycling as people avoid public transport and embrace outdoor exercise. It's also said to accelerate the shift to battery-assisted pedaling. As in the car business, that could be disruptive. E-bikes come with a battery and a motor that helps passengers puff up hills and overcome strong winds. More than 40% of bicycles sold in Bike Mad the Netherlands last year, for example, were electric. Now governments are helping by building new routes and offering subsidies. Italians can get up to 500 euros back on the cost of a new bicycle or e-scooter. So far, the boom has mostly benefited established manufacturers like Taiwan's giant manufacturing and Japan's Shimano, which controls roughly half the market for components like gears and brakes. But that's changing. Backed by venture capital money, upstarts are designing e-bikes with electronic features like alarms and smartphone controls. In a sign of the market's potential, German industrial giant Robert Bosch recently created a standalone unit that makes batteries and parts like anti-lock brakes specifically for e-bikes. Whether the cycling boom lasts in colder and wetter weather remains to be seen, but e-bikes are already well ahead of battery-powered cars. Tesla, whose stock market value this week almost touched $300 billion, accounted for just 1% of US automobile sales last year. By comparison, the e-bike market looks well-charged.